Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Dan Stoned and thank you all for joining me today to start a brand new Imperator Rome achievement hunting campaign. So for this achievement hunt run we are going to be trying the Kingdom of David again. And yes, for those who've been following the channel for quite a while, you will know that I tried to do a Kingdom of David achievement run uh, about a year ago I think. And it went pretty well I've got to say. The only hiccup was that the major update came out which made my save game obsolete. And since the update was a major one I didn't really really want to kind of go back to playing the game uh, before this major update. I can't remember which one it was. I think it might have been Cicero or I think it was Cicero update. I can't remember. I'm at the back of my mind, I'm thinking the Cicero update came out. So while I was doing this um, Kingdom of David achievement hunt run, and it was going really well, but the update came out and I just thought, well, nah, I want to play the update. So I kind of uh, stopped the achievement hunt campaign there. So um, I thought it would be a good time to actually come back to it, because it is one that I really enjoyed doing last time I tried it, and um, I'm really looking forward to trying this out again. So the objective here is as the theocratic kingdom of Judea, so we must actually control the regions of Syria, Palestine. Uh, you need to have a couple of um, provinces as well. I think the Central Delta, Eastern Delta, um, Nineveh, so, so, some other things. I'll have a look in game. I can't remember exactly. But there's a lot to do. Now we are starting off in a very tricky position here. We are sandwiched in between two big superpowers, the Antigonid Kingdom and uh, Egypt, of course. So the difficulty is going to be trying to stop these two from eating us up. Um, now, the good thing, well, not the good thing, but we do start off as a um, tributary to the Antigonid Kingdom, so we pay them a little bit of money, and they do protect us. However, we will not be keeping this status for long. I will explain to you guys a little bit later on. But um, anyway, enough of that. Let's have a look who we are. So as Judea, we have the Levantine and Arabian traditions, which means we gain um, army attrition minus 15%, which is pretty cool. So as we are fighting in enemy lands, we should suffer less losses. Uh, we can unlock Octir and Megapolyme which is good if you want a navy. We can also unlock military colonies ability and we can also unlock the phalanx ability. Our tradition, our tradition sorry, focuses on strong triremes, good cavalry and good light cav. We are of Judean heritage which increases our fort defense by 10% which is pretty neat I've got to say. That's going to help us stall if we ever needed to stall anybody and that is really going to help us do that. Uh, we also have plus 10% religious tech investment which means we should get through the religious tech levels a little bit quicker. However we do have a negative 25% to pop conversion speed which is a pretty harsh negative modifier. That is a bad one and uh, that's going to make um, pop converting a hell of a lot harder. So uh, we might have to get a lot of temples if there's anywhere to convert. Uh, we are atheist Theocratic monarchy, of course, which means the rule that reigns for life, our consorts can provide benefits, and if we fill out the corresponding idea slots, which is one oratory idea and two religious ideas, we can gain plus 10%. Uh, I think plus 10% religion happiness, I think that what that first one is. And we also gain plus 15% omen power. Uh, since we're monarchy, we have plus 35% to our country civ level off the bat. Now, we are of the Jewish faith, and which gives us a lot of bonuses and the Jewish faith is so freaking powerful. We have plus 15% omen power so if we combine this with our theocratic monarchy ideas so if we like fill out all the slots that's a massive plus 30% to omen power that is huge. That is so freaking powerful man. Uh, we also have plus 50% omen duration so the uh, omens last longer and uh, we have plus 20% as pop assimilation speed that is powerful. That is really powerful. So I think that means that we should probably go towards assimilating pops first rather than converting them since we have a negative modifier applied to pop conversion speed, but we do have the positive one for pop assimilation speed. We are of the Hebrew culture, which is part of the very short and unique um, Levantine culture group, which has the Hebrews, which is us, the Nabataeans, Phoenicians, and the Punic uh, culture, which is Carthage, of course. We start off as Simon the First Zacadite, uh, no, not Zacadite, Zadokite, sorry. Um, he's a 40-year-old uh, king. He's okay ruler, 45811, not too bad. Um, he's okay. There, there is better, but there is worse. Uh, we have 20 territories to start off with. So we have 12 territories in Judea, 7 in Perea, and 1 territory in Samaria. We have 124 pops in these 20 territories, with 115 of them Jewish Hebrew. And uh, we have a couple of other Jewish pop types and maybe two Arabic pops. Um, but nothing really major there. We have one noble pop, 18 citizens, 47 freemen, 24 tribals, and 34 slaves. 
So now we've pretty much gone over what we are, let's uh, get into the game. So Iron Man mode, obviously, we're playing on hard difficulty because we do like a fair challenge. And uh, let's get this rolling. So I don't, yeah, I need to create the save file, which I haven't done yet, but we'll just call it Judea. Okay, let's start, let's roll. Bim, bam, boom. Okay, so let's start and take stock of the starting situation. So we have 4,000 men here, which is three units of light infantry, one supply train. Okay, gold-wise, we are making one gold per month which is okay, considering it will be more once we break the tributary status with the Antigone Kingdom, because we are paying 0.52 gold to them. So once we break that, that would be pretty cool. Um, here we have nearly maximum manpower, which is pretty good. And um, let's just start off by quickly checking what exactly the achievement is. I nearly forgot. So let's go to the achievement here, and I think it is... I don't know what it is exactly we need to take. So starting as a Jewish nation, own the region of Palestine, Syria, as well as the areas, areas of Sinai, Eastern Delta, Central Delta, Memphis, Aramea, Nineveh, Mesopotamia, Superior, Apollonatis, Babylonia, Cittacene, and Sumer. Okay, we could also probably go for Holy Pilgrim. As a Jewish country, I only control all the original Jewish holy sites. That is definitely possible. We might try and go for both. That would be cool if we could do that. Why not? I don't know why that is supposed to be easier than this one. Unless there's another Jewish nation to start out with which is easier than e the easier than Judea, but I highly doubt it. So, oh well. well, well, we'll try and get both. Anyway, now, the plan here, let's go through the plan of action. Now, the plan of action here would be to break away from the Antigonids as a tributary, so we don't pay them anything else, get a couple of claims on um, the Phrygian lands, and then hopefully when the Diadochi Wars kind of fire, where the Antigonid goes to war against Egypt, the Seleucids, and all sorts of other stuff, Hopefully then, what would happen is we can actually take advantage of the situation, strike and just quickly peace out as fast as we can and occupy some land, and then do it that way. I think that would be the best possible solution. Um, so we're definitely going to try it out that way. But anyway, first of all, let's have a look at what we can do. Let's go for our idea slot. So the first thing I want to do is set a religious idea, and I am going to go for the origin myth for the rule of pop game, or am I? Am I going to do that? No, I'm not. Actually, no. You know what we're going to do? I'm not going to necessarily fill out the idea slots here because um, the bonus is pretty cool, but we don't really need it now. The first one I'm going to go for is Martial Ethos Morale of Armies. We are playing on hard difficulty, which means we have a negative modifier applied to our army morale. Uh, basically, the AI has more morale than we do when they start off. Next thing I want to do is probably go for tax farming because I want to see if we have a lot of slaves. 34 slaves we do. Let's go for tax farming. Because we're going to increase the amount of gold the slave will make us. And that is going to be something we need. And then the last thing we're going to go for is probably... Probably Hospitium. Improve Opinion Maximum. We are going to need to get better opinion with people, with our neighbours at some point to survive. So I'm hoping with the Seleucids and stuff. So we'll go for Hospitium at the moment. So it's not really a problem that we haven't filled all this out just yet. I will at some point, but at the moment I don't think it's necessary. The um, other advantages of the other ideas far outweigh the overall bonus gain from filling out the idea slots correctly. What decisions can we do? Uh, nothing really unique here. Okay, so now that's done, let's see what we have omen-wise. So currently we have Moses, so the Jewish prophet of war. And the shrine is located, it's owned by Egypt. And we get starting experience plus 5% and manpower recovery speed if activated. Samuel, the Jewish prophet of culture, aggressive expansion change minus 0.03. That's pretty cool. Uh, state religion happiness if activated, pretty decent. The Jewish prophet of economy, David. National citizen output plus 10%, that's good. National tax plus 12%, that is really good. And then we have Esther, the Jewish prophet of fertility. Pop conversion speed plus 5% and unintegrated culture happiness plus how much? Um... 4.87% if activated. We do own the prophet, uh, the temple of uh, Jerusalem though. So we have the stone of Jacob in there, which is plus 5% tax, which is pretty cool. But we are going to call down the blessing of David because I want the national tax. And the good thing here, while activating this, we gain uh, two Hebrew freemen that appear in Jerusalem. That is really good. That's powerful. It's that, that must be every time you activate it. That is good. So we'll do that. Bim, bam, boom. All that is done. I'm quite happy with that. The next thing we need to do is marry our ruler. And hopefully we can find someone decent. Um, with better stats than our Marshal and Finesse. That's what we're going to be looking for. Lysia Zadikite. 695. Yep, she's going to do nicely. We'll marry you. Let's arrange the festivities. Thank you very much indeed. And let's see what we can do next. Let's go for some trade as well. Now... 
Actually, no, before we do the trade, let's get an invention. And I want Logistics Bureau here because it gives another import route. So we'll take that. And now what we can do, we have three import routes instead of two. Now, what are we going to import? That is the question. I am incredibly tempted to go for some camels. I really am. Do I? What does my kind of heritage... Do I have anything that gives me any camel advantage or not? What about my traditions? No, it's just army... Tra army... Um, um, army attrition, sorry. Okay, so let's go for... We already got horses. Step horses would be nice. Horse archers could do a lot of damage. They are seriously, seriously powered. Um, should I go for that? I don't know. What is the... Let's have a look. Let's just have a look at our units. Um, damn, now I need to go on here. That's it. Okay, now let's have a look at step archers. They have a high maneuver. They have a lot of maneuver. I could definitely put these guys on the flanks. I'm very tempted to. I I don't know if I should get some. I really don't. Should I do this? Um, let's go for some iron. I'm going to get it from the Seleucids. Iron is always useful. It's for at some point or another. So I feel that going for that would be the best thing here, and it does give us a little bit of local tax. The next thing we're going to want is maybe. I'm very tempted to get some step horses. You know what? Yeah, let's get some. Screw it. Let's get some step horses. And then we'll try and import something that's worth a lot, like precious metals. Gemstones. But now nah, that's from Egypt. I don't trust Egypt. I couldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. Maybe get some precious metals. We can get it from the Seleucids. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do most of our trade with the Seleucids. I'm happy with that. Now we make 1.58 gold per month, which is pretty cool. We are straight away going to cancel the tributary status with the fridge. Okay, so now we should make a little bit more money. 2.11. That is wicked. Now what do we do? Now what do we do? I think now we should probably consult the War Council. And we'll summon the War Council, see if we get a free claim. And now we have a free claim on the Antigonid Kingdom. That would be nice. Yeah, let's get for the free claim on the Antigonid Kingdom here. So that means I don't have to fabricate a claim and waste any political influence to do so. The political influence can be spent for other things. Now, the first thing I'm going to spend it on is definitely improving opinion with our neighbours. If I can improve it a little bit, then I'll be happy. So let's just improve it with Egypt. If we can stall them attacking us for as long as possible... That is going to be the best thing. So we'll do it with you and the Seleucids, obviously. And that is nice and done. Now let's increase our army size. So, let's go for... What do I want here? Horse archers are so goddamn powerful. They really are. What should I do? What comp should I do? I'm going to keep the light infantry for the moment. Just because... It's just a waste of gold and manpower if I disband them. So, let's go for... I do really want some horse archers. How much gold do we make? Uh, 2.15. Okay, so in 2.15, that means we can go for... I do want some light cav. That is good. Can I see what Egypt's armies are? I can't see what they've got. Uh, this is a really crucial decision here. Which is very crucial indeed. Let's go for... Two units of horse archers. Okay. I think that would be good. I'm incredibly tempted to put these in the middle. We'll put light infantry first, just as like cannon fodder, I suppose. And then maybe... Do some light cam on the flanks. Would be good. But then again, I'm going to be... It's. I don't think I need light cam on the flanks, to be honest. Because we are going to be numerically inferior to the enemy. In order to flank, we need to have more men. And I highly doubt that we're going to be able to get more. 
So maybe some heavy cav. Maybe some heavy cav first. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know here. I'm totally lost. Let's go for the heavy cav. So that is 1.2. Let's go for one unit heavy cav. We'll see how much it, um, how much our army maintenance is after. But let's try this out. Now that is done, we are not going to go for any alliances. I don't want any because I don't want to get dragged into any unnecessary wars. So if anyone offers an alliance, no way. Unless it's Egypt, obviously. If, um, and then all we need to do now is wait. So let's roll. I think we're ready. I think we're all set up. Uh, all we need a general, don't we? Um, who have we got? Oh, you're pretty good. We've got light infantry. We've got horse archers. Yeah, we're going to put Joseph Cephas Sinicus. He's not got the best martial ability, but he is got he has got extra discipline with the um, how to put it with the units that we have. Oh god, I'm no longer importing precious metals. Are you kidding me? Did that already stop? Ah, oh, thanks, Salukid. That's great of you. Um, let's go for some glass instead, then from Persis. We'll get some glass. And by the way, we could probably go for a mission. Let's go for the matter of Palestine. Let's start it off. I completely forgot, and we get free claims on everywhere for this, so um, we should probably do that. Yep, definitely. So that gives us some extra free, free claims afterwards, and hopefully, if everything goes to plan, the Antigonid will fight the Egypt, Seleucids, Macanon. We can steamroll in, quickly occupy everything, and of course, we should have claims on everything by the time the mission is finished. So that's how I'm hoping everything will work out. Now it's just a question of waiting and hoping for the best. <laughs> anyway, the matter of Palestine. The region of Palestine has remained a valuable source of trade and commerce for our nation for many long years. Amongst the court, people insist amongst the court such a bountiful land would serve a much better purpose if fully integrated under the Judean banner. Warlike. Yep, it's got to be a warlike approach. There's no way we're going for peace here. We must free the Jewish nation and recreate the Holy Land. Anyway, let's see. We need to pay attention to what goes on here because we are not Greek, so we don't get the event that tells us that these guys are at war, and well, the Antigonids are at war with the others, so we need to keep an eye out. Do what's this? Dode Kashoinos wants to import wood from no problem. That gives us a little bit more gold per month. Um, let's just quickly make sure we've got the right things here. Um, you know what we could do? I could put heavy... I could put horse archers in the middle. To counter pretty much everything that the AR is going to place in the middle. Because they normally place like heavy infantry or light infantry. So I'm guessing the primary cohort could be the light units. And then after that on the flank I could go for... I could flank with heavy cows. I could do this. Let's try it. I've never tried this. Let's try it. I want to try that. That's going to be something we're going to try. But um, I will change it depending on the armies we're facing, to be honest. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We're making 0.82 now. Could do with a little bit more. We're not going to be we're not going to be able to increase the size of our army anymore, to be honest. I think this is going to be the maximum that we're going to be able to have. 0.29 now we make. Mm hmm. Interesting. What tactic could we go for? I think it's got to be skirmishing. Yeah, it's got to be skirmishing. We'll try the skirmishing tactic. Anyway, sounding out the opposition. Debate has raised for many years over our rocky relationship with the nation states resident in Palestine. Nebatea, a nation many in Judea call friends, stands well placed to provide us with an assistance in our, in in our endeavours, sorry, to control Palestine. Uh, warlike approach, sorry, no way. We, we hate you, so that's not going to happen. Would you want an alliance, um, my dear friend? Egypt, no, they hate us, so... <laughs> obviously. Obviously, obviously, they hate us. And the war has fired with Macanon, which is good. Hopefully, the others will um, kind of roll in. And when it does, we shall be there to strike. So we do need to pay close attention to what freaking goes on. Really close attention. Please, Salukids, join the fight. I beg of you to join the fight. I really want you to join. It would be great if you did. Now, Egypt wants an alliance with us. I could take the alliance and then I could declare the war on straight away and bring them in. We could do that, you know. And I could bring Egypt into the war that way. And that would be a pretty good thing to do. Let's try. 
Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're going in now. We're going in, we're going in, we're going in. Hopefully, the Antigonids are occupied fighting all these guys over here. Which means that now, we shall definitely, 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 definitely strike. So, I am going to put you guys on Force March, because I want you guys to get over there ASAP, and we need to control that. So we can take the land. I don't want Egypt taking it. So let's give this a try. Egypt's going to be called in. They're bringing on all their friends. They know. But it's going to be... Yeah, they're going to bring everybody in. But hopefully we can quickly do this and quickly take care of them. So um, let's go. I think it's time. Let's try. Okay, so Egypt's joined. That is fantastic. Now let's move. Now we quickly force march away over here. And uh, we need to... Hopefully Egypt will quickly arrive with us. We've got a fort here, which is going to slow them down. Um, I am going to get you guys off Force March now, so you can recover your morale. I am going to authorise attachments. Egypt has insulted us, we know, but we're only going to be using them for this war. So they brought down some men here. Not too many, but they can occupy this all they want. I'm really not bothered. Egypt has insulted us again. But of course, I don't give a shit. They can insult us all they want. We're just going to be using their troops as cannon fodder. Uh, what have they got? So they've got archers, heavy infantry, and light calves. So I'm guessing archers first line, heavy infantry second. So let's see what we can do here. Archers first line, heavy infantry second. And... Hmm. What's the maneuver of light... Yeah, light infantry can only maneuver from the side. You know what? Heavy cab first. We'll flank with light infantry and we'll put the horse archers in the middle. All right, there we go. That's an extra 10,000 men. Hopefully, he is going to deal with his troops there. Please go and deal with him, my friend. I really would appreciate it. And have the Seleucids joined? Not yet. No Seleucid troops just yet. Yes, he's sent him off. That is good. That is good, that is good. Um, what's this? Judea gains enhanced militarization, which... Okay, the court speaks. So I've got um, war score cost minus 5%, which is cool. We need to take this province capital as well. I don't want them to take that. Hopefully they're going to attach themselves to us. I, I don't think they are. No, they're not. They're going for the province capital. You assholes. Um, they want cloth. That's fine. I'll trade cloth with you guys. Can't you just go and deal with him there? The preeminent Harsum Nisat. So some say for that Judea there is one constant. The deeds and character of Harsum Nisat precede him from the villas of the capital to the shabbiest border town. Harsum has risen to great prominence and position as a public servant and aristocrat, although his legendary private soirees has the ear of everybody worth knowing in Jerusalem. Do I pay gold and you become friends with me? Yeah, I can't. What a bit. I'm going to lose popularity. I can't afford to do that. No way. Uh, Egypt, we need to... You need to work with me here. You definitely need to work with me. Um, so, troubling developments. Recently, we've seen that our physician, Onius Manali, as well as those under his charge, have been doing a disappointing job. It seems people are having issues with them, keep reporting back to us how difficult they are to work with. So, the corrupt traitor will never be given anything. I gain corruption, he loses loyalty, or I lose gold. Yep, whatever. I can't afford that, my boy. Your, but however, I might actually bribe you quickly. We have a little bit of gold, so I am going to bribe you back to the right side of things. Have we finished the mission, by the way, there? Consult the court we have, which means we should have claims all over. Yeah, I should have a lot of... I should have claims all over now, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Come on, Egypt. We need you to bring all your men over, and you need to go and fight him for me. And hopefully the fridge will come back and reoccupy this for us. Like 42% there. And then we need to quickly move and march and occupy all the rest of the land over here. We could do with taking a real big chunk. Nothing there just yet. Oh, he is going to probably occupy this back. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Please take that province capital back. Then we can swoop in and have it. Anyway, seeking a patron, as custom dictates, the eager yet politically inexperienced man, Joseph Cephas Sinicus, has approached us in obeisance asking for formal patronage. Well, consider it done, dude. You are going to gain some more prominence and you'll gain some finesse. You are the commander of the armies. I trust you. Okay, so now we are under attack here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you running away? Can I get away in time? We can get away in time. 
And I am going to leg it here. Yep, yeah, we're going to leg it. We've got the fort just in time. I'm hoping that the Egyptian will strike him at some point. Come on, Egypt. Let's go around. Oh, no. Let's go through here now. We'll go this way. A petitioner approaches. Oh, this is good. A mature individual by the name of Elizar Zadokite uh, approached sorry, our Adonis in private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision in the near future. I had to zoom out there because the fire was killing my ears. The sound was. Let's gain the gold here. 50 summit gold is always nice to take. Right, let's go that way. Then this way. And then we'll go up and join over here. We need to stay together. And then we need to go and deal with his troops here. Can you? Are you going to come and help me here? Okay, so he is actually moving away here. Let's go and um, let's go this way. So this guy's beat up his um, troops there, which is good. Who's got claims on this? Nabatea, whatever. Yeah, I don't want to fight this guy here because. I am going to go for an extra unit heavy cav. I'm going to risk it. Oh, are you going to join me? Okay, maybe if we join in. Egypt is coming, so maybe we could hold things out. Let's slow the game down here. Okay, so we don't have any advantage at all. What is his line like? So he's got archers as the first line. We have heavy cav. So our heavy cav should do some damage, even though we don't have too much of them. We do 50% extra damage against them. Um, now the reinforcements have arrived. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. This is good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Egypt. You are... Oh, and he's handed the land to me. Oh, because we've got claims. Oh, thank you, Egypt. Egypt, I called you so many foul names, but thank you very much, my friend. That is great. Now we are going to go back into our land here quickly, and we're going to reorganize a little bit. Only a little bit, because I don't have much morale here. We need to quickly reorganize the soldiers. It's a good job this guy's attached to us. Um, can I reorganize? Oh, we can. Let's reorganize the troops quickly. Let's go and free up some of our land up here. All we need to get on morale back, so... Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. We should have the ticking war score now, by the way. We do. Take Somalia. Ticking war score is there. Oh, this is good, this is good. I know I called you so many names, Egypt. I really did, but... I'm sorry, dude. It had to be done. It had to be done. What's your opinion of me? Horrible. Because they insulted us to shit. So, I've got a feeling these guys are definitely going to kill us at some point. Hopefully we can take as much land as possible before that actually happens. And the Salukas have joined in. This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. It's the best possible scenario. Um, Egypt has got a claim on us now, we know. But we are going to need to befriend with the Salukids at some point. I'm hoping... I'm really hoping we can be friends. Alright, let's get another monthly tick here just to get the... Oh, we've got another unit. That is good. Yes, we have another unit heavy cab, which is fantastic. That's increased our capabilities. Okay, so that's good. Are you still reorganizing? You're not reorganizing anymore? Why not? Okay, now we need to take this fort here and we need to keep moving. So we've got another guy in. Let's wait till the end of the month for the tick. There we go. We've got the morale tick. Now we move up to this fort here and we try to take this fort. And then hopefully Egypt keeps moving here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, negative 35%. Let's up the speed a little bit here. We need to pay close attention to what goes on. I am losing a lot of gold. But that's only because it's still counting the fact that I'm reorganizing my troops, which when you reorganize units, sorry, it increases the maintenance. So be careful when you do this, by the way. Army maintenance increased by 100%. So at the end of the month, you'll see all positive. There we go, because it's no longer taking into account the um, army reorganization. You need to kind of take into account what you see here is um, the monthly, the month's tick, and this is the next month's tick. So you need to pay attention. Okay, so he's got 9,000 men here. Is he going to try and strike us? This fort is going to be really important. Oh, God. 16,000 men there. Hopefully, Egypt are going to help us if he tries to attack. 
Okay, he's going in there. Let's move. Oh, I can't. I've got to go all the way around. Um, that is not good. There's no way around this. This is not good. Oh, come on, Egypt. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. You are smashing this guy. Well done. E Egypt, I love you. I am actually... I'm literally in love with you. I would sleep with you if possible. I really would. I would sleep with you, your wife, everything. I was going to say something really wrong. I was going to say your children, but then I realized that that was so freaking wrong. It's insane. But, um, no, I'm... Yeah, I love you. I, I really love you. Thank you, Egypt. Thank you. And hand me the land. Just hand it all to me. <laughs> Just give us everything. Oh, this is great stuff. This is really good stuff. We're going to take as much stuff as we can here. Literally as much stuff as we can. Thank you. That siege has been won. Now we move over to this side. I want that province capital ASAP. And then we're going to move up to this fort here. And of course, as much, the most land we can take here, the better. Aggressive expansion is not going to be an issue for us here. I really can't give a crap about aggressive expansion at this point. Thank you, Egypt. You are a blessing in disguise. Why are... So you're going to go here now. I don't want this guy to don't want this guy to attach to me. Well, he is attached to me, but are you going to hand it over to me? So he's not handing that over. And why did he have that? I thought I was there first. Who is the siege leader here? Why is it this guy? Why is it that guy? I don't know why it's not that. Why it's not me? Um, anyway, let's just take this down here quickly. I would like to occupy this quickly. If we can, if because if he's not going to hand it over, then I want to link this up through the side here. So let's just quickly occupy all this. Of course, you're going to get a lot of slaves from this sort of stuff, which is really good. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's willing to hand it over to us. But then again, I can't blame him. He's already handed over a lot, and I don't necessarily have a claim on this. I don't think. What region is this? Yeah, it's Galilee, though. I do have the um, claim on that. Maybe he's going to do it in a little while. I, I don't know. God knows. But um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Military restructuring. So, Joseph Cephas Sinicus has initiated a wide-ranging restructuring of the officers under his command. He assures us this will allow for more efficient command hierarchy. Curiously, our attaché has noticed that the officers with strong Republican ideals are not receiving any promotions. Um, so what do I do? He gains loyalty. We gain more morale of armies. He may become more ambitious. Yeah, why not? You can increase your loyalty. That is fine. I'll happily keep you as a friend, dude. Oh, he stopped sieging that. That is good. I'm just going to quickly take this because I would like to link all my land up here. Okay, so that is done. Let's quickly force march you over here. Well done, Egypt. You're just smashing all of his armies for me. And I am literally doing nothing here. When I mean literally doing nothing, I mean, like, literally doing nothing. But let's occupy this. I want this promised capital as well. Yeah, Egypt is not going to be handing that to us. I don't think he wants to hand that all to us. Which is a shame. It's a shame. But I am the siege leader here now. Oh, why is this guy the siege leader? Yeah, I'm assuming control of siege here. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. Alright, well, I've assumed control of the siege. I was there first. Um, twisting the knife. So, Simon the First Zadokite, reasons only unknown, uh, known only unto himself, had begun to view Joseph with jealousy and distrust. Are you kidding me? I start seeing him as a rival. That is so not what I wanted. Well, I can always remove him at some point, but I don't want to remove him just yet. Okay, come on, let's take as much, much land as we can possibly take. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to split this guy up now quickly. I'm going to get a unit of light infantry and I'm going to split you guys off. And we are going to take all the land along this, uh, alongside here. So if I can't take that, I'll still try and take as much land as I can up here. Because Egypt is definitely not going to hand this over to us. I, I don't think... They're, they're wise not to because, of course, we will be... Yeah, because... Yeah, he's just going to make us incredibly powerful. So we just need to occupy the um, all the stuff that we can occupy before the... Before Egypt. I mean, he's got this here, which is a bit of a shame. 
I mean, I would like to have taken Damascus as well, but if we can't take Damascus, then it is what it is. We can take all this, though. But it's still going to be a pretty decent victory, I've got to say. Keep marching around, keep taking all this. Could do with this as well up here. Okay, the siege has been won. That is really good stuff. I'm going to authorise attachments, by the way. You're going to stay and attach with me. Quickly march over here. We'll quickly join this 1k stack. Thank you. All this is being occupied beautifully. Okay, so we've got a 10k stack there with a pretty decent commander. Can we beat this guy? That is the question. Liberation. So, the Council of Jerusalem have taken it upon themselves to free a sizable quantity of privately owned slaves. A Hebrew slave becomes a freeman. Yeah, why not? Okay, so this guy is obviously... Let's see if I can run away. No, I can't run away. So, we're going to have to stand and fight here. Um, we might actually lose this battle. What's he got? Archers. Well, I have heavy cap. I'm hoping that we can... I'm hoping we could turn the tide. I don't really trust this. I'm hoping that we should be fine. Is there anything I could go for here? Um, let's go for the... No, I think siege ability I don't really need. Yeah, there's nothing that really helps us here. Well, looks like we're going to have to stand and fight. Looks like we're going to have to stand and fight. When does he arrive? 15th of September? So he's nearly there. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So, of course, we have... Yep, we don't have any extra advantage over this guy. Um, he is the commander, though. Um, however, he is leading with cavalry, which is not bad, actually, I think. No, is that the first line? No, it's not. The cavalry's on the flank. So we are leading with heavy cav in the middle. And where are horse archers are each on the side? Come on. Come on. Damn, 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 damn. Yeah, this guy is absolutely trouncing us here. Yeah, let's retreat. Oh, our, con our commander was imprisoned. That's not cool. So we need a new military leader. Oh, I'll put Milk Yaton Mashid. That's a shame. Oh, well, we're just going to have to retreat all the way back. That's not a problem. We'll retreat behind the safety of the fort in Jerusalem. Yeah, we'll just run away. Come on, let's leg it, let's leg it. Oh, for God's sake, am I got caught? Again, I'm probably going to get stack wiped here. This is awful. This is possibly the worst possible freaking scenario. Yeah, we're going to get stack wiped here, I think. Oh, I'm not got stack wiped yet. We just managed to leg it in time. Oof, thank God. That was close. That was really close. I thought we were... I was really worried about getting stack wiped there. Um, but I am going to reorganise the units. We have a little bit of manpower, so I'm not overly concerned about it. But at least we're back home. All we need to do is go and help Egypt, I think. And we'll reorganise you quickly. What can we peace out for? Is there anything we could peace out for? Yeah, I'm not giving you that, dude. No way am I giving Egypt anything out of this war. You can take all this. Um, let's go for individual... Let's go for individual territory. Yeah, I'm not handing you that over, dude. No way. No. No, 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 no. We need to make sure I don't hand him anything. That would be a significant gain, and I'm very close to doing so. So we'll just wait a little bit here, and then we'll definitely um, we'll definitely take that. No, you want to peace out? Not yet. I want to absolutely make sure that you lose everything. Please go and free Damascus. Ah, oh, why? Why have you not gone down there to free this? Free Damascus, my dude. Free Damascus. I know you want to. Really. He's going up there, isn't he? Let's... I know what, I'm going to peace out here. 
This is controlled by Egypt. All this is controlled by Egypt. Then again, we do gain a nice big chunk here. Can I get you to cancel subjects? I'll oh, cancel Samaria would be nice. Negative six reasons. I think we can. Let's see what happens. Oh, Egypt is... Wow. Oh my god, he's actually probably gonna... No way. No freaking way. Well, I can't believe it. Egypt is a beast. And he's a dangerous beast at that. Um, so I've got you to release Samaria here, which is great. Can I get you to release any others? Can I get you to release maybe... Sidon? No? Um, I can get you to release Samaria, which is good, which means I could probably strike them straight away. And that would gain us more land. You know what? I think this is a good peace deal. I really do. I really do. We gain a lot of land. I don't hand anything to Egypt, and I mean anything. I do gain 20 aggressive expansion, but I'm not bothered. This is a really good start, and we don't give Egypt anything at all. Yeah, let's do this. Let's peace out. The rest of the war, they can all fight. The Seleucids are fighting them. Macedon's fighting them. We can take this. I don't want. I want to do it now because the thing is, if I leave it, Egypt will probably separate peace, and then they're going to take what they want to take. So, um, yeah, we're taking all of this now. I just want to make sure we've got the right stuff. We don't hand anything to the useless, and well, not the useless, the Egyptians who actually did all the fighting for us. So let's do it. Regional power increases our rank. This is really good. Now we have extra capital import routes, faster integration speed, more diplo relations, more political influence gain, war score cost is reduced, more diplo range, integrated culture happiness plus 8%. This is good. This is really, really good. I'm really happy with this. Um... Who wants to break the alliance? Egypt, because they plan... Yeah, they're because they hate us, but, I mean, whatever. Um, it is what it is. This is really good. Will the Seleucids like to be friends? Not just yet. Who else would like to be friends? Would Mackinon like to be friends? No. Nabatea would. But, then again, I wouldn't f feel... Comfortable, I think, because if Egypt declares one Nabatea, then we are screwed. So that is really not what we want. Um, but um, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, so I'm going to take a good long think about what our next strategy is. But so far, the first opening move has been great. We have got quite a bit of land, and I'm really, really happy with what we've taken. I could have maybe gone a bit more, but the thing is, I really didn't want Egypt to um, separate piece these guys. I had a feeling they might do it. If they do, it changes a lot of stuff. So we took quite a bit. Honestly, we took a pretty big chunk of land. We took a lot of really good land as well. And here, these guys are now free. So what I can do is I can definitely kill these guys. They have no men. They have absolutely nothing. We can absolutely destroy them pretty quickly. And I think I might just do that. But Egypt are planning my demise. So they're obviously going to declare war on us. If they break an alliance, do they have a? does that mean we have a truce? I think it does. I really think it does. Um, what is our tech rate, by the way? I need to make sure. 84%. We need friends. Desperately. But outside our Diplo range. All these are outside our Diplo range. It would have been nice to be friends with them to keep them occupied down south. Um, I'm going to think about what we're going to do next. Honestly, I really don't know. Um, I'm going to take a good long think about it. But anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more Imperial Rome content, also consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, people. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.